What's going on, Scorpio? I hope you're all having a great week. This is going to be the current situation. I feel like this is crooked. Um, the current situation, what is going on right now, what messages need to come through from spirit, take what resonates, and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement readings. Um, right now, you know we're in such a high shifting of energy. Um, I've explained in my other readings with the super moons that are occurring this month, the new moon. Um, we also have a Mercury in retrograde happening, and I will do a reading separately for that right after this one. We already have Venus in retrograde. So guys, just, you know, take it as it comes. You know, take a step back before reacting, before responding. Um, it's also a time for a clean slate. You know, to finally close chapters that do not need to be open in your life. They don't deserve your time. They don't deserve your thoughts. Whatever those situations are, allow them to go and lay to rest. Shut the door and move on. Think about and manifest what you truly want for the very near future. We also had an 8-8 portal um, in, you know, obviously in Leo's energy. Great time for manifesting. So let's get into your reading. Right now, you want to make sure you watch your moon sign and your Venus sign with the shifting in energies, you know, along with your sun sign. I always think that the rising sometimes um, resonates so much more with me than my sun sign. But, you know, for each one of us, it's going to be different. I'm giving away three free love readings this month. Um, I do this each and every month. It differs from what I'm giving away each month, but this month will be three free love readings. So go ahead and subscribe so you could take part in these giveaways and leave a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of August. At the end, I will randomly choose those people and remind you at the end of the month to be checking your notifications because three people will be hearing back from me. All right, Spirit for Scorpio. Current situation, current messages, what do you have? For our Scorpios. Look at that. Adjacent possibilities wanted to slide out. You see those doors of opportunity that want to open for you? That are coming towards you? That's why I say to close out those, um, those remaining doors. You know, that should be shut. But some of us, we just maybe procrastinate. We just might want to hold on a little bit longer to see if there's a change in a specific situation. But now it's the time for you to put yourself first, Scorpio, and close out those doors. There are blessings coming your way. Take action. Exactly. Bring that balance into your own life and take action towards what you desire. What goals do you want to meet? <clears throat> We have six and eight, and then we have the world. Seriously, I mean, spirit is coming through with the closing out of cycles so that brand, something brand new can enter your life. It's going to be a successful start that's coming towards you. But all along this journey that you've been on, Scorpio, there's plenty of times that you've needed to pack your bags and go, that you've needed to just, you know, shift your back towards certain situations and move forward. You might find yourself at a crossroads in the very near future and needing to make a decision. But you know, as long as you stay connected to your spirit guides, whoever you resonate with, and the universe, you will pick the right path. You're exactly where you need to be. All right, let's see what else we can get for you. bottom of the deck when I was shuffling I saw betrayal so maybe a family member a friend um, you know someone who you were romantically involved with they might have betrayed you I do feel someone's going to be reaching out for help look at that out of reach and reaching out for help 
someone that might have took it the easy way out and just separated their any energy from yours. I, I really feel that you're going to be hearing from someone that you've distanced yourself from. And the evil eye, you are being protected. There's definitely a new path that's meant for you. A fresh new start. You don't you really don't have to be afraid of it because you are being protected. All right, let's see what else we get for you. There might be something occurring in your life in the very near future where you're going to be seeking advice from the people closest to you. And remember, that's okay to reach out to other people for support. When you actually do that, when you accept support from others in whatever form it comes in, you're showing the universe that you're, you're accepting to receiving that. And there will always be support for you. look at that three of wands moving on and when I saw action with the black and the white horse it made me think of yin and yang a soulmate connection possibly in the very near future for some of you all right let's see for my Scorpio spirit what message do you have for the current yeah see There's something that you do need to separate from. Allow yourself to heal. Get out of your own head. You know, take that first foot step forward to break free from feeling stuck. If anybody's caused you emotional pain, that's on them, Scorpio. That is on them. Don't let it defeat you twice. Allow yourself to heal and put that best foot forward and take that step. It may be a baby step, but that's okay. As soon as you take that step forward, the universe is like, oh, you're done with feeling like this? We got you. You will feel a cleansing energy flow through you. Again, I do feel that there's support all around you. Your family, your friends, the Nine of Cups. What is coming towards you with this brand new journey, this brand new opportunity, is an emotional fulfillment. You're going to feel content with who enters your life and what doors open up for you. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for your Scorpio? Yeah, I really feel like you've worked really hard along your journey. You've planted those seeds. And now something is about to come to fruition. It's like you're doing your best to bounce back from any, any tower moments. You might have been ghosted. You might have been blocked. Somebody might have put that distance between the two of you because you had a fallout and you weren't on the same page. You weren't understanding what they were trying to say or what they were trying to express to you or vice versa. But you've shown up. And now there's something coming to fruition. I really feel like there's a romantic gesture coming towards you. Someone, it's either you're meeting a very strong soulmate connection in terms of a friend. Um, or it's going to be a romantic partner. But there's someone coming in knowing exactly what they want. They could be a younger water sign with strong fire in their chart. But you may know them as a fire sign and they may have water in their chart. I'm feeling a little bit younger for some. And for some of you that it's not about romance, this could be a child of yours. Or a sibling. Someone that, like I said, you've had a falling out with. You're out of reach with this person. But they're coming in knowing exactly what they want. They want to move forward with you. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. 
Congratulations showing up. Look at this. Like I said, someone's going to reach out and make an amends with you. The shifting of energy that is happening in this month is very strong. With Venus and Mercury in retrograde, there are things from the past that may be on your doorstep when you open up to go to work one day. Or when you drive up from a long day at work and you go to park your car and you look on your stoop or your steps or your yard or whatever it is that you have and you're like, oh shit. Lotus Sutra said this person was going to come back around. There is someone who wants to make an amends with the Five of Swords in reverse. And it is divinely guided with the Wheel of Fortune. I've got Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. This person is coming in like a tower moment. I truly feel you've had burdens with this person. And the two of you are definitely in silence. But the minute that they send you a message, the minute that they show up, is going to feel like you didn't see this coming. You have no idea that they have these feelings for you. I do feel that they're hurting. But by you shutting that door and closing out that chapter... You're starting a brand new cycle for yourself. One where you feel liberated, where you feel that freedom. When this person does show up in your life, you're going to be stronger than when they walked out. So it's going to be up to you. Accepting their apology, accepting their communication. But like I said, they're definitely coming in knowing exactly what they want. I do feel an amends here, a reconciliation. Up, oh, yeah, see? I knew soulmates was going to pop out with yin and yang right here. This is a soulmate union. The Ace of Swords. Your soulmate has something strong they want to tell you. Something of complete truth. And it's coming in very quickly. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice. See, they took a break from this connection. The two of you may be in a distance from one another. And it might be some time that you've been apart with no communication. But I'm telling you, you're going to look down at your phone. This person is thinking very deeply about you and what happened. Spirit, why is the Wheel of Fortune here twice? They want to make an amends to this relationship. They have felt so defeated. They want to get back to feeling this comforting connection. And with that Ace of Swords, like I said, they've got something that they want to say. And it is divinely orchestrated. So you can trust what is coming to you. You can trust what they're saying. All right, let's see. We have L, R, A, U, X, T, E, I, H O and then the rest are repeats. So always take what resonates. Like I said, make sure you're watching your moon sign and your um, Venus sign for the Venus in retrograde. Right after the session of readings, I'm going to do the Mercury in retrograde and what is coming towards you. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the next super, the second super full moon of August. So a lot of energy in these next upcoming readings. Okay, so, so much love and light, guys. 
and the link to my Etsy shop is down below in every description box. Have a great rest of your week.